It's the turn of the National Judicial Council to appear before the National Assembly Joint Committee on Judiciary and Human Rights. The Secretary of the Council is flanked by representatives from all the courts at various levels. And the one issue that dominates the conversation is the 165 billion naira allocation to the nation's judiciary. The chairman, this is like an SOS presentation for the Nigerian judiciary. If we are really serious about justice administration in this country, this honorable and distinguished assembly has to do something urgently to to save the soul of Nigerian judiciary. This project has failed. This project cannot be implemented. It cannot work. We cannot turn the judiciary arm of government to beggars. Joint Committee of the Senate and the House of Representatives has resolved without a single voice of dissent to invite the Minister of National Planning and the DG Budget to affair this before this committee unfailingly tomorrow clearly encroaches upon the independence of the Nigerian judiciary. We will not allow a situation whereby the judiciary will go cap in hand, begging the executive for funds to operate, uh, to, to fund their operation. In another panel session, the Senate queried the management of Assets Management Company of Nigeria, AMCON. Over 145 billion naira loss in 12 months as submitted to the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance and other financial institutions. I am a bit astonished by the fact that mm -hmm. your balance sheet isn't looking good at all. For example, your total comprehensive uh, profit and loss at the end of the year came into a loss of 145 billion naira. This is this is this call for concern. Are we going to continue like this 13 years after? And uh, can we say that the reason for the establishment of AMCON is justified under these circumstances? The senators were no less satisfied when the AMCON chief told the panel that his administration has recovered about 648 billion naira out of the agency's 5 trillion naira total liability in 2023. During an interactive session with the Senate Committee on Finance, the group chief executive officer of the NNPCL, Mr. Milikiari, declared that it has remitted 4.5 trillion naira generated revenue as at October this year into the Federation account, pronouncing better days ahead for the country. From the National Assembly, Gloria Omezuke, Channels Television News.